So we can type in here to update state, but nothing happens when we submit. So here's what I want to happen. If I submit dstruce, I want it to navigate to slash github slash dstruce. So we've used a link or a nav link to update the URL, but we can also do it programmatically. If we look at this GitHub component and look at its props, we have history, location, and match. Because we got here using React Router by uh, doing a, a route, we get this history, location, and match props. And this history thing, we can do things like push, go back, etc., as discussed in the slides. So what if my on submit does something like that? So we'll make handle submit. First thing it'll do is prevent default, as always. So don't forget to go down to form, say on submit equals this dot handle submit. And then that was the match param, or uh, excuse me, the history param, which is passed in automatically by React Router. This dot props dot history dot push will just add a new URL to the end of the browser history. And I want to go to slash, well, let's use a template literal, slash GitHub slash whatever we typed, right? Which is This dot state dot username. Right. Let's try it out. Here's our URL localhost 3000 slash GitHub. Go to dstruce. There you go. URL changes. Now it doesn't change pages because our route for this path GitHub always goes to component GitHub. If we'd said exact, then that would not match that and it would go to the default page. So just slash GitHub would go here. As soon as it's slash GitHub slash something else, it no longer matches. So we don't want exact there. You get that? Get the difference with the exact prop? So now we're updating history when the form is omitted. Update history when form is submitted. But without a route to match that new URL, this still doesn't do very much. But it adds something to our history. 